okay Scorpio now you're starting the month per the tower card with certain situations that are no longer beneficial for you with situations that are no longer in alignment for you there are certain things that are not that are crumbling down as the tower uh, shows in this instance um, it just simply means that you have realized and you have made a choice to you know to let go of things let go of people let go of situations that no longer serve your highest good and which is great because you are open and you're letting in um, new things into your life that I that are more in alignment in, with with your with your authentic self with your highest good so it's very positive in, in that in that sense you know it's it's letting go of the old and welcoming the new into your life now the potential challenges or or potentials for this month per the nine of wands is that although you have put a lot of effort in into the situations and in being aligned with certain situations you have worked really hard and although at times you might feel like you are exhausted just keep pressing on you know just yes do take some time to rest or to rest but at the same time do realize that you know the hard work pays off and you know that it's it's more important you know to to focus on the blessings and it's more important to focus on, on the joy you know that that this accomplishments are bringing instead of you know focusing on on how exhausted you might be so just be mindful of that be mindful of not overworking too much and be mindful of not overthinking and focusing more so on 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 your blessings and and not so on 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 all the things that you might still have to do or that or the things that you already did and and that you feel that you might have exhausted yourself if that makes sense now the focus for this month um per the temperance scar is for you to find the balance between between you wanting to know everything and between you wanting to know what's going to happen and just like I said having that care for attitude you know just having that that energy of being surprised of not truly knowing what's going to happen almost like expect the unexpected so find a balance yes it's wonderful for you to have a plan and for you to have a set of goals but at the same time balance it out you know with that sense of not knowing with that sense of of being surprised okay now the five of cups represents how you were how you have been this past month particularly in april uh, this card is showing me that you were very tired you at some point you were lost and and you were kind of confused about things and you just wanted to give up but that's in the past and you are entering this month you know with a more vibrant energy with with a more re-energized energy you know for you to want to accomplish you're more centered this month you're more focused so don't worry about that you know the past is gone you know i think you rested enough and i think that you found your way again you're not lost anymore you're not confused anymore now your strengths as represented by the high priestess card is that you like to be the center of attention but at the same time you know what's around you and you're always making sure that you know you are being protected you're making sure that the people around you are being protected um, you are a very wise person you are a very wise sign uh, so work you know continue working on the strengths for this month you know continue you know listening 
more to others as well, continue to learn from others, um, realize that that although that you feel that you can do it all, you know, there, you know, it's it's good to rely on others as well. That is one of your strengths. So continue, you know, continue, you know, being confident about that. Continue to to gain more confidence in, in terms of your abilities, in terms of your of your skills, but at the same time don't pretend that you know it all at once, you know, learn to learn to open up, you know, to new possibilities, learn to learn, you know, learn to gain wisdom from from others as well. Now in the near future, I do see um, in the near future, I would say around the mid of the month of May, and this is represented by the sun card. I do see you um, reconnecting or forging new connections with other people. I do see you shining your light on others. Um, you are a sign that likes to be in the spotlight. So I think that, you know, it's important that you use, you know, that you use these qualities that you have for you to shine your light on others, for you to lead others, um, for you to help others as well. But at the same time, be open, like I said before, to to have other people help you as well, you know. Um, there, there's a lot of joy. There's a lot of positive energy. There's a lot of happiness for you, you know, for you for this month. You just... You're just being asked to, you know, to share with others and, you know, shine your light on others, but at the same time, be open to others to shine their light in your life as well. Now, the star represents, you know, just that magic, you know, it, it represents you learning to to open up to others um, it's learning for you to to bring things that have been hidden into the open but at the same time letting others you know be truthful with you so be truthful to yourself first and most importantly because in order because once you do this then you are allowing other people to be truthful to you as well and it's a win-win situation, you know, you are, you know, you are being able to help others with, with you being yourself, you know, with you being the most truthful that you can be with others as well. Now the King of Pentacles represents this exactly. We see here that you somehow are still holding on to certain things. You're still holding on to certain masks. Um, to me, this card represents that you are not being entirely truth with yourself. And since you're not being entirely truth with yourself, then you can possibly, you know, truthful with others as well. So take off the mask, you know, learn to accept yourself, you know, for who you are. You know, focus on the good qualities that you have. Because once you do this and you're, you know, you're able to like accept others for who they are. You're able to love other people unconditionally and you're able to, to love them for who they are, you know, without the mask, without, it would, you know, without the preconceived notions that, you know, sometimes the ego, you know, makes us or creates in us. So... In order for you to move forward, in order for you to like accomplish, you know, everything that you hope for, you need to let, you know, you need to let the mask go. You need to stop holding back. Don't hold back, you know, you know, let the fears go, let the doubts go and just learn to let go of control. Learn to accept people for who they are, but most importantly, learn to accept you for who you are. Don't analyze things too much. Just feel more, you know, listen to your heart more. I would say, you know, that would be my advice for you for this month. 
now the wands the four of wands to me you know it's it's showing me that you know that you you know that you have had you have worked hard and it's time for you to it's time for you to relax it's time for you to you know take it easy you know get together with somebody you know that makes you feel good that makes you feel safe that makes you feel comfortable that makes you feel at home take some time you know for yourself know that everything that is around you is being taken care of you don't have to take care of everything on your own you know you can ask for help you can you don't have to micromanage everything by yourself i think for me this card also represents you know you reconnecting you know with your divine soulmate or reconnecting with your twin flame i, I think that this card for me is signifying that you need to you know not you know not focus so much on work this month you know just learn to you know take a break you know if you can reconnect you know with the people that you know that that truly get you reconnect with the people that that love you and that they accept you for who you are now your potential future you know i would say for the end of the month beginning of june is for you to buy and this is represented by the queen of wands by the way is for you to um for you to like i said you know it's no fun you know to live life by yourself it's no fun to just live your life doing it all by yourself so this is telling me that you know towards the, the end of the month you need to take some time off you need to take some time to you know for yourself you know it, it's okay not to want to be you know the life of the party all the time or, or to want to be in the spotlight or, or to be leading others all the time i do see you know you taking some time off and rewarding yourself for all the hard work that that you have been doing you know this this past month already of this year okay scorpio so now let's draw some individual cards for you to see how you are in all other areas of your life and let's see what we have for your love life Okay, so we have the Believe and Succeed card. So this card is just letting me know and it's, you know, and it's the message of the card for you is that you have to believe in yourself. Like I said, you know, you have to bring down the mask. You have to um, stop holding back and you have to believe, you know, that, you know, that you have to go with the flow. You have to believe, you know, that, that you, you know, that everything that you have hoped for in terms of love, it's happening. And, you know, once you are able to believe more in yourself, once you're able to let go of, of the things that have been holding you back, then I, you know, I do see, you know, success for you this month as represented of course by by the four of wands you know as well okay let's see what we have for your health well and being for you for this month Okay, so we have this 
so we have the guidance card support love signs direction and we also have the god instincts card intuition knowing sensing trust so these cards they go well together because they're just letting you know for you to like have you know like i said before have more faith in you um know that you are being supported you know pay attention to all the signs pay attention just to to the synchronicities you know that are happening in your life you know learn to go within more you know meditate um take some time for you you know you know that all the that you have all the tools within yourself you know you just have to stop controlling things <laughs> you just have to let go of control and and you know have faith and, and know that you are that you're constantly being guided you know so take some time to do that this month you know it's beneficial for your health and your well-being it's going to help you more in in this spiritual journey that that you that you are taking okay let's see what you have to surrender or surrender to this for this month okay we have surrender stress Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you have built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. I mean, more signs, you know, that you need to surrender, you know, everything that has been holding you back, that you need to stop over, you know, that you need to stop overthinking and you need to stop overworking, you know, that you just have to let it go you know let let go of that you know it, it's it's going to help you it's, it's not beneficial for you you know it's not healthy to you know to to hold down to things so just let it go okay let's see what message do we have for your life purposes that if that is something that you've been you know wondering about if you need more direction in terms of your life path life purpose Okay, we have leadership, take charge of this situation. Which, you know, it, it coincides with what I said more towards the middle of the month is, is you to, you know, to shine your light on others and, you know, to go out there. And, and this is a perfect month for you to forge new connections and for you to reconnect with other people, you know, that you are going to be beneficial to and they're going to be beneficial to you. And lastly, let's see what the Archangels have to say to you for this month. We have the nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility, environmental activism. I mean, we couldn't have closed the reading with, you know, with a better reading than that. You know, like I said, you know, in order to, you know, in order for you to move forward, you know, you just have to have faith, you know, let life flow, you know, go with the flow of your life, okay?